Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. One from the Heart is a movie that was much more talked about than actually seen. It marks the end of an amazing run by director Francis Ford Coppola. In the 1970s, he made one masterpiece after another. The Godfather, The Conversation, The Godfather Part II. I mean, he, he invented the Part II. And, of course, <laughs> Apocalypse Now. Uh, each film pushes the boundaries of popular cinema. Each one was a high-wire act. But the thing about a high-wire act is sometimes you fall. Let's take a look at One from the Heart. Francis Coppola's previous film, Apocalypse Now, had gotten so out of control in terms of story, budget, and ego that as a follow-up, Coppola wanted to do something simpler, lighter, and cheaper. But Coppola never really dreamed small. He wanted to create a brand new way of making film, a new studio system, and he put up his own cash. Zoetrope Studios was going to be a sympathetic home for actors, writers, musicians, craftsmen. He put people under contract. Talking to friends who worked there at the time, it was an amazing social experiment. It's too bad the whole money thing got in the way. Francis thought he had come up with all these ideas to make movies less expensive, shooting on sets without stars, doing the effects in camera, but everything instantly went wildly over budget, and the press followed every move. When the movie was released, people weren't really judging the film, they were judging the experiment, and it just crushed this precious little miniature. It's too bad because the film has a lot to offer. Number one being the absolutely beautiful Tom Waits song score. The movie is basically a musical, but the actors don't sing. Waits and Crystal Gale do it for them. The songwriting is so strong and so well produced. Think what you want of the film, you should absolutely get a hold of the music. It's one of my favorite albums. Also stunning here is the cinematography by Victorio Storaro, shot in the classic Hollywood aspect ratio of 133. The whole design of the movie is interesting. Everything is shot to look unreal, the fakeness of Las Vegas recreated on a soundstage. But the performances and the story try to be low-key and naturalistic. The problem is that something is missing. Magic never really happens, and it just might be chemistry. Terry Gar gives a career-best performance here, but unfortunately, there is no real heat between her and Frederick Forrest. And I know, I know that's almost the point of the film, that real life is not a musical. I'm just not sure how satisfying that is to an audience. I actually went to the premiere of this film. Francis wanted to show it to studios, exhibitors, and the public all at once. I remember Jack Nicholson being interviewed outside the theater saying, it's money in the bank. Well, not true. The film was a gigantic flop. Francis lost everything. The studio, the dream. He spent the next couple of decades paying off the debt, doing studio gigs and becoming a wine entrepreneur. He's finally back to making smaller, personal films. I'm a huge fan of a recent movie of his called Youth Without Youth. That's an overlooked gem. My one quibble with Coppola these days is his habit of going back and recutting his films. Apocalypse Now Redo is a desecration, and when One from the Heart was finally released on DVD, sure enough, Francis had monkeyed with it. It's still worth a look. I'm just happy I kept my Japanese Laserdisc with the original cut.